Morning, friends. Somebody asked me the other day, did you bring that green cup with you from Mexico? No. Um, the deal with the green cups is, and I have four of them, it's the one thing I go and look for at a Goodwill or a secondhand store. We've done this for years. We used to call it going junkin'. And um, it's just one of the things I look for. This green cup. Bought this tripod here at a Goodwill. Eight dollars. This is my view this morning. Curiously enough, the motorhome is right where I left it last night. Parked here at the Walmart in Globe, Arizona. Today we're doing 111 miles between Globe and Sholo, and it's going to be even bigger and scarier mountains up and down than yesterday. But it's going to be beautiful. Let's go. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. I'm pretty sure we're going up and over the top of those mountains that are in the far distance. It's going to be fun. And we're starting to climb. Here comes a fifth wheel. That's encouraging. Looked like about a 35 footer. Ought to weigh around 15,000 in the truck, 6 to 7,000. Ah, 22, 24,000. I am 46,000 pounds, maybe 48,000 pounds with full tanks. And I have full tanks. Another fifth wheel. Oh, and that one was even bigger. Ooh, and a truck, but he was empty. Well, so much for the trucker shouldn't go this way. Um... Hopefully that's an indication that we're going to be just fine as long as we take it slow and easy and the brakes hold out. It's starting to get very pretty. Lots of trailers coming this way. Those trailers don't weigh anything though. We're on the way to Sholo. We've had some 8% grades. Glad I'm in a turbo diesel. The old south wind wouldn't be doing this. Oh my gosh. I stopped here to stretch my legs and have a sandwich and let my brakes cool. We've already done some pretty serious downhill and right past that sign there's going to be some even worse parts. Trucks and vehicles with trailers use low gears. I'm going to use low gears for sure. I always feel better when I'm on the uphill side of the road instead of over there hugging the guardrail and looking at sure death on beyond. But it never lasts. We're going to do a hairpin turn down here. Oh. Runaway truck ramp. That one runs into a sheer rock wall at the end. No question about being able to stop. We get around the corner here. This is a 15 mile an hour turn. And now we are hugging the guardrail. 
Isn't it beautiful up here, though? You know, people always think of Arizona as desert and cactus, but wow. They call it the Grand Canyon State, and of course there's the one big Grand Canyon, but there are a lot of canyons in Arizona. I'm really glad I'm making this drive. I had some second thoughts about it and some reservations. I'm not afraid to drive, and I'm not afraid of hills or mountains. I've got a good braking system, air brakes on the motorhome, and a good auxiliary braking system in the Jeep when I'm towing. And I've been through uh, the Eisenhower Tunnel west of Denver and uh, on up to 11,000 feet on that road, but that's Interstate 70. It's two and three lanes going each direction, so everybody on the road is going the same way as you. This uh, two-lane road, I have a trucker's uh, atlas uh, book of maps, and it says trucks shouldn't go this way. Well, here we are. We're going this way. You know, the camera, and this is my dash camera that we're watching, the cameras never show the real true feeling of how steep the hills are going up or down. Um, by the time we get down here to this bridge, we'll have done 12 miles of 6 to 8% grades. And that's steep. Well, we made it to the bridge. I stopped back up the hill there and I have a temperature gun. I shot the temperature of my brake drums and my discs. The motorhome, front and back, was about 110 degrees, which is cool. And um, the Jeep, about 150 on the drums in the back and 268 degrees on the discs. Ooh, there goes a Prevo. Well, he'll be okay. 600 horsepower. And we go back uphill. You can see the road there on the right, that's on the other side of the river. And we just came on that road to get here. And we're going to go uphill for miles. I'm pulling this grade in third gear, right in my torque range, about uh, 1,400 RPM. Um, the 350 Cummins turbo diesel has no problem. The Jeep is heavy. When I used to pull that old uh, Suzuki Sidekick, it weighed 24, 2,500 pounds. And um, the motorhome didn't know it was back there. But this Jeep is almost 7,000 pounds with all of the four-wheel drive extra transmissions and transfer cases and stuff underneath and heavier suspension. So we do know it's back there going uphill. And uh, going downhill, I'm real happy with how the auxiliary braking system performed. It's an Invisibrake from Roadmaster. Don't have to do anything but hook up the Jeep. I like it. Finally, flat roads with no death-threatening drop-off to the left or the right. And it's really nice to see these pine trees. It's been a long time since I've seen pine trees on both sides of the road like this. Reminds me of Oregon. Uh, little known fact, these are ponderosa pines, I believe, and the largest ponderosa pine forest in the world is in Arizona. The tallest pine tree which is about 10 stories tall, which ought to be around 300 feet tall, is near Grants Pass, Oregon. And the tallest trees of all must certainly be the redwoods in California. After 111 miles of mountains, it's almost comforting to see traffic and signal lights this is Sholo, Arizona, 
population 11,280. And we're going several miles beyond. Somewhere way past that next ridge is Camper Van Kevin's Vagabond Base Camp. That's where we're headed. We'll be there soon. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.